Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Now today I really wanted to have a look at what skills are the most profitable in old school RuneScape and more specifically what skills are the most profitable to get to 99. Now this will differ slightly from what skill has the highest money making method available to it. For example RuneCrafting has some of the best rates in the game however it can take hundreds of hours to get to that point. So to make a fair comparison between all of the skills we're going to calculate how much money you would make going from level 1 to 99 in a bunch of different skills averaging out the GP per hour throughout the entire course of it, figuring out not only which one will make you the most money, but which one will average the most money per hour. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, before we get started, I'd really appreciate it if you took the time to leave the video a like. Always helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much, and let's get started. Now before I begin here, we're going to be looking at only the more consistent money making methods, the kind of tried and true methods for both experience and money. And we're going to try to be looking at this as a regular player would, Yes, there might be a really good money maker. However, if it gives no experience at all, it's not really going to be a fair comparison. And we're going to try to make good decisions to balance both GP and XP going to 99 in all of these skills. Now, I will also be omitting combat skills because they're not really skills by comparison. And also, there's just so many options, so many different methods, making it kind of hard to compare. Now, with that said, we're going to start off at number 10 here, and that is woodcutting. Now, unfortunately, woodcutting is the lowest on the list here. Yes, there are skills that are less profitable than it, but of the skills that actually generate profit, woodcutting is the worst and by a significant margin as well. Now, unfortunately, high level logs uh, just really do not generate very much profit anymore, mainly because they've been devalued from PVM and bots. So actually, lower level logs are actually better experience and better GP per hour than Magic, U, and Redwoods. From level 1 to 15, that's just going to take about 5 minutes, we're going to cut regular logs. From 15 to level 50, we're going to be cutting oak logs, which will give us an average of around 40k an hour once we get up into the higher levels, and actually around 150k GP per hour as well. Getting to level 50 will take around 3 hours, and we'll net this around 500k. Now from levels 50 to 99, we're going to be cutting mahogany logs for an XP an hour of around 50k. This will be the best balance between GP and XP, but it's still not that good, as going to 99 with mahogany logs will take around 260 hours in total, but it will net you around 38.8 mil once you sell them all off, which means 99 wood cutting is going to take, well, around 260 hours and is going to net you around 38.8 mil, which comes to a profit per hour on average of around 150k per hour. So that's very poor and I would recommend not trying to make money with this skill. And next up here we have fire making. Now fire making has one profitable way to train it and that is winter tot. So pretty much you want to start doing winter tot as soon as possible. So from levels 1 to 50 you're just going to burn regular logs and you're going to take a minor loss but fairly insignificant and it's only going to take you around 1 hour. Now from levels 50 to 99 you are purely going to be doing winter tot which is going to take you roughly 40 hours and will net you a profit of around 10 mil GP. Keeping in mind that all of these are estimates and the GP and XP can change throughout the years so that's uh, pretty damn simple. 99 fire making will take you around 41 hours, but is going to net you 10 mil in profit. While that is way less overall profit, the GP per hour is going to be much higher at 243k per hour, which really isn't that bad. Okay, so next up here we have cooking. Cooking also has a fairly simple progression as well, having one method that is both way more profitable and way more GP per hour than everything else. Now to start off here from levels 1 to 50, you're just going to be cooking regular food items, and that will only take you around 1 hour. Now you will take a minor loss here, but it's fairly insignificant. Now from levels 50 to 80, you're going to be cooking wines, and while this will actually net you a fairly significant loss of around 1 million GP, it's definitely worth it to skip through these levels quicker. And doing it fairly efficiently, it should only take you actually around 4 or 5 hours. Now going straight through to 99 after that, you're going to want to cook Karambwans, which offer one of the highest experience rates in the game, as well as actually are profitable currently. Now you're able to one tick cook Karam wands, which offer extremely high experience rates of somewhere between 800k and 900k an hour, once you're well practiced. Now assuming you can keep that up to 99, you are actually going to net around 9 million profit doing that, and it's only going to take you around 13.8 hours, which is extremely quick. Now 99 cooking in total will only take you around 19 hours, uh, and it's going to net you 8 million profit. And because of how quick that is, that means the GP per hour on average here is going to be around 420k. Now continuing on with the resource collecting skills, which unfortunately here are at the bottom, we have mining. Now mining actually does offer a couple of pretty decent money makers, uh, which can carry you through all the way to level 99. Now from levels 1 to 40, you just want to mine through copper, tin, 
and up to iron, and that will take you roughly two hours with minimal profit, but no losses. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty simple skill again, from level 40 to 99, the best money maker in the game is to mine gemstones. Now alternatively, at higher levels you could also mine runite. Now going from level 40 to 99 is going to take uh, roughly 270 hours mining gemstones, which is a lot. Now gemstone mining can net you somewhere between 400 and 500k an hour, depending on your efficiency, it can even go up from there. But assuming you get around 480k per hour, you're going to net yourself around 131 mil, going all the way through to 99. Which means in total 99 mining is going to take around 272 hours, and will net you on average around 483k per hour, making it actually a pretty decent skill. Okay, so next up here we have Fletching. Now Fletching has quite a few different options, and most of them are profitable, save a few. But once again, currently there is one method that seems to be trumping all the rest of them, and that's unlocked at level 55, Fletching. Now from level 1 to 55, you're just going to go through the early levels, Fletching Bows, and that will take you roughly around 2 hours. And from levels 55 to 99, uh, actually Fletching Broad Bolts is a really good option, because it offers an extremely high XP per hour and is actually profitable. Now you do want to be careful with this method because you are creating a ungodly amount of broad bolts and it could take you a long time to get these resources unless you buy them from the shop or from another player. But as of the current rates you can get somewhere between 500 and 600 K an hour XP and GP. Which means going from levels 55 to 99 uh, is going to take you around 23.4 hours. Now that means in total it's going to take you around 25.4 hours to get to level 99 fletching, but you are going to profit around 13 mil, which comes out to around 500k per hour. Now next up here we have smithing, and smithing has historically been a fairly profitable skill ever since the addition of the blast furnace. Currently actually smithing is less profitable than it has been in the past, but it still remains a fairly profitable skill. Now starting off at levels 1 to 27, you're just probably going to want to do the Knight Sword quest. And pretty much from levels 30 onwards, you're just going to be camping the Blast Furnace. From levels 30 to 50, you can make Steel Bars, which will take around 1 hour and will net you around 640k in profit. Now from levels 50 to 70, you can smelt Mithril Bars. And uh, surprisingly, they're actually less money per hour, which is very strange. But they do offer a higher XP per hour, so I think it's best to move on to them. Getting to 70 will take you around 6 hours, and will net you around 3.2 mil in profit. From level 70 to 85 you can smelt Adamant Bars, which will take you around 25 hours, and will net you around 18.7 mil in total profit. And finally here, continuing on to 99, you're going to want to smelt Rune Bars. Those will take you around 91 hours in total, but is going to profit you around 77.7 million GP which means it'll take you around 122 hours in total to get to 99 smithing using a reasonably profitable method, and it's going to net you around 100 million profit, or around 819k per hour in total. Okay, so next up here we have Hunter. Now Hunter again is historically a fairly profitable skill, and because of the addition of Fossil Island, the early levels are not nearly as tedious as they used to be, which really buffs up the GP per hour in total. Now pretty much all the way from levels 1 to 73, you're just going to want to do birdhouses. Now birdhouses are kind of like farm runs, so they overall add up to a lot of XP per hour, but total time wise they are going to take a while. In the end though, going from levels 1 to 73 will only take around 7 hours of efficient birdhouse runs, which is way quicker than using any of the other lower level methods. Now 73 to 99 is very simple, you're just going to hunt black chinchampas. Now these profit rates and XP rates are assuming you don't die too much, which means getting these raids could be pretty challenging, but not impossible. Now from level 73 to 99, you can net actually around 1.3 mil an hour just hunting black chinchampas, and around 150k per hour hunter experience. Which means getting to 99 will net you around 104 mil in profit, and will take you around 80 hours. Which means in total 99 hunter will take you around 87 hours, but is going to net you 104 mil in profit, uh, which comes out to a profit rate of 1.2 mil an hour, which is the first skill breaking a mil. Okay, next up here we actually have runecrafting, and I'm sure that's going to surprise a couple of people because runecrafting has long been the most profitable skill in game, but, but it's actually coming in at number 3. Now getting to level 99 runecrafting has quite a few different options to it, but here's the road that I personally would take. Now from levels 1 to 25 you're just going to be doing early game runecrafting training, which is most likely just going to be break even, and will take you around 1 hour. Now, surprisingly, going from actually levels 25 to 82, one of the best runecrafting money-making methods is actually crafting mud runes, 
Now these are available at an extremely low level, but currently they're actually very competitive for their level. From levels 25 to 50, you're gonna get around 600K an hour and around 24K runecrafting experience. So getting to 50 will take around four hours or net you around 2.3 mil. Now continuing forward, now that you have the large pouch, your XP and GP is gonna jump up a bit, going up to 800K an hour GP and around 30K an hour runecrafting experience. Which means getting to level 82 runecrafting is going to take 77 hours, but is going to net you 62 mil doing that. Now from levels 82 to 95, it's more efficient to do double astral runes, which will give you a GP rate of 1.1 mil per hour. Now it's going to take you a whopping 192 hours to get to 95 and 211 mil in profit. And finally here to finish it off here, we're going to go all the way to 99 doing wrath runes, which is going to jump the GP rate up to 1.6 mil an hour but the XP rate is going to stay the same. 95 to 99 is going to take you around 129 hours and will net you around 207 mil. So if you're doing it this way, it's going to take you a massive 400 hours to get to 99 runecrafting, which is a lot. However, that's also going to net you 482 mil in profit, which means on average you're going to get around 1.2 mil an hour getting to 99. Now thieving has long been a profitable skill, but not until a couple of recent updates has it been one of the most profitable skills. Because of additions such as Priftinus and the Sins of the Father update, thieving is now the second most profitable 99 you can get in this game. Now going through the early levels really won't take that long, going from 1 to 49 will take you around 3 hours, uh, you're not going to net any profit however. Now once you get to level 49, the experience rates per hour is going to increase a lot because you can now do the Stealing Artifacts minigame which will increase your experience rate up to 150k on average, meaning it'll only take you around 4 hours to get to level 70. Now at level 70, we have our very first good money making method, and that is thieving the master farmers. Now going from 70 to 85 is going to take you around 37 hours, and will net you around 17 million GP, assuming that you have the hard diary done and the rogue's outfit. However, moving forward here, going from 85 to 99, you have two pretty viable options, and that is either thieving elves in Pryptinus, or you can thieve the new Vire Lords and Vire Ladies in Darkmire. Currently, they offer a fairly similar GP per hour, somewhere between 2 and 2.5 mil an hour, and again, offer pretty comparable experience rates, scaling up from around 150k an hour at lower levels all the way up to 170k when you max. With that said, though, going from 85 to max will take you roughly 65 hours and should net you around 150 mil in profit. That is a ton of money, and that means going from level 1 to 99 will take you around 109 hours but is going to net you 170 mil in total profit, which means on average you're going to be making around 1.5 mil an hour once you've gotten 99 thieving. Now, coming in at the number one spot is something that is very surprising and kind of a new development, and the number one spot is actually agility. Agility for the longest time wasn't really a profitable skill at all, however that all changed with the addition of the Hallowed Sepulchre. Now with the highest levels of the Sepulchre, you can make an insane amount of money per hour, now the first level of the Sepulchre is not available to level 72, now I've estimated getting from level 1 to 72 would take around 30 hours of doing rooftops. You would make a bit of money from the Marks of Grace, but not a substantial amount. Now at level 72 is when the Hallowed Sepulchre becomes efficient, so at level 72 you can make around 400k an hour on average if you're just looting floor number 3, and you'll also get around 50k agility experience an hour, which means getting to 82 would take you around 30 hours and would net you about 12.2 mil. Now at 82 agility you get access to the 4th floor, uh, which is going to boost your experience and GP per hour fairly substantially. Your GP per hour is going to roughly double, and your GP per hour is going to go up to 65k an hour. Getting to 92 doing this method is going to take around 63 hours and will actually net you about 50.4 million GP. Now from level 92 to 99 is when the GP per hour takes a huge jump, and that mainly has to do with the Ring of Endurance. Assuming that you are well practiced, you will get around 2-3 to three rings on average in that time, on top of receiving the regular loot which is already much better than the first couple of floors, which means going through these levels nets you around 3.5 mil an hour which is one of if not the best skilling method in the entire game. On top of that, if you are reasonably efficient you could get around 85k an hour with a bit of looting, which means going from 92 to 99 is going to take you around 76 hours and net you actually 268 million GP which is an astounding amount of money. So in the end, getting to 99 agility from level 1 would take you roughly 200 hours if you take the profitable route, but it's going to net you 330 mil in total profit and give you an average GP per hour of 1.65 mil, which is actually the highest on this list. 
Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, before I go, I just want to give a special thank you to Heathen Lock Games and the rest of my YouTube members over on YouTube. I really do appreciate your support. If you are looking for another way to support the channel, becoming a YouTube member is an excellent way to do it. And by doing so, you will unlock a couple of different perks, including a custom role in my Discord channel, access to my video release schedule, and being mentioned in my YouTube videos. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.